All right, here we have a service disconnect, and I'm taking a look at the wiring for the service, specifically the use of this flexible metal conduit that we see. Now, section 230.43 has a list of wiring methods permitted to be used for services, and flexible metal conduit can be used, but in lengths not to exceed six feet. And if we follow this flexible metal conduit, we will see that it is much more than six feet. You're also supposed to have a bonding jumper installed with this flexible metal conduit. You don't want to rely on the flexible metal conduit as a fault current path, so there needs to be a bonding jumper. And there is one installed in the raceway, but you can see it not done correctly. It's right there, folded back on itself. And instead of being connected to a bonding bushing and then to this enclosure, it's just brought back to the outside of the connector and attached to a lug on the clamp part of the connector. So we've got a violation of 250.92 A and B as well. This is Russell Blank, NEC Consultant for ECNM Magazine.